Hi guys, today I'm in a 2008 Toyota Sequoia and I'm going to be scanning this card. Owner tells me there are a couple of warning lights on the dash which he wants me to investigate. For this video, I'll be focused on the diagnosis of the TPMS warning light. This is going to be part of a larger series that I'm going to be doing, scanning different cars and just analyzing the codes, more or less showing you my approach to troubleshooting diagnostic trouble codes and giving an idea of how to go about fixing those codes. Now let's get this. Let's see what's wrong with the vehicle. So I'll shut this off. So maybe one thing I should say right off the bat is that I can already tell that this is a TPMS fault as against a low tire pressure. If it were low tire pressure, this light is just going to stay steady. The fact that it's blinking tells you that there's a fault in the TPMS ECU. Each time you turn on the ignition, the TPMS ECU runs a check on all the components of the tire pressure monitoring system. For a typical direct pressure monitoring system that uses physical sensors on the car, you would have a TPMS ECU, tire pressure sensors on each tire, a receiver antenna for receiving the tire pressure and unique identification data from each of the tire sensors and lastly a TPMS warning light. A few other things will include some wiring for connecting for example the receiver antenna to the TPMS ECU. This check is run in a matter of seconds which is why the TPMS light comes on briefly and goes off if there's no issue. The blinking of the tire light indicates that this test has not passed. While I'll scan the car for TPMS codes, the fault on this car could be from any of these components that we've just run through. It could be one or more broken tire sensors, a faulty receiver, a short in the wiring or poor contact, a faulty TPMS ECU or a mix up in the sensor IDs. Sensor unique identification is important because that's how the car identifies the position of each tire and thereby knows the pressure in each tire. It also stops the car from getting confused by radio signals from other TPMS sensors on cars that are nearby. I'll go ahead to do an all system scan because of all the other warning lights on the car before I then go through the service menu menu and attempt to activate the sensors on the tires. TPMS. This ECU monitors tire pressure. Okay. Trouble codes. So we have the following current TPMS diagnostic trouble codes C2121 and C2123. This means that the TPMS ECU is not receiving data from two tires that are marked as ID1 and ID3. Considering the age of this car which is a 2008, it may well be dead sensor batteries but could also be a malfunctioning antenna. We'll know more when I try to activate the sensors directly. We also have the C2174 vehicle speed signal error. Personally I'll complete the investigation of the first two codes before coming to this third one. Also there isn't much information on the C2174 code but we do know it has to do with the vehicle speed sensor. In this kind of situations I'll usually focus on the first two which is known just to ensure that we're not dealing with parallel codes here. Let's go to the TPMS menu and try to activate the sensors directly. Turns out that having completed a 360 degree walk around the car, we may well have the reason for the TPMS codes. While the two rear tires clearly have the metal TPMS sensors, it appears both front tires have ordinary valve stems without any sensors. Someone must have taken away the TPMS sensors from these two tires. That said, because there are some TPMS sensors that feature rubber valve stems, for completeness I'm still going ahead to activate each of these tire sensors. So we're done, here are the results. We have two working sensors with low batteries. Just ignore the sensor ID duplicated that you're seeing. Usually when the scan tool fails to pick up the readings from a tire sensor, it remains on that position and you have to manually advance it to the next. I left the right front tire in place while I was scanning the right rear tire, which has the good sensor. At this point, it's clear that we're dealing with missing sensors in both front tires. I will go ahead to replace these missing sensors first and then relearn the TPMS. Relearning just means copying in the new new sensor IDs into the ECU so that the ECU knows the proper position of each of the tires. If the C2174 remains after that, I'll then turn attention to troubleshooting that code further. That's it guys, hope this has been helpful, catch you on the next one. Peace!